Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean, Denver Real Estate Agent with Co-Listings, and I wanna give you a quick update on what's going on in the local Denver market in connection with the coronavirus. It's a new month, which means that new data is out from March, and it's actually a bit surprising. I was expecting to see just a slight drop towards the end of the month because that's when things started to really pick up in terms of um, orders and closures and things like that. But uh, the, the the data is is really interesting. It, it's as if the real estate market has not seen any disruption yet. And I'll give you a few examples here if I can um, turn the camera around here. So um, you can see here. This is this is March. Uh, we're looking at uh, a continued increase in new listings. And um, if I go, I'll show you another data point here. I've put together the data. I'm actually going to do a formal video as soon as I get a chance. Maybe today, it might end up being tomorrow. But um, uh, sale price for homes. Let's see, it's pulling up here. Again, you see some some additional positive trending there. Um, it's looking pretty good. I'll show you one more data point here. I'll get into the specific numbers in my formal video. Um, so hang tight on that one. Months, uh, months of house, housing inventory is still insanely low at one month. Uh, cumulative days on market, let's touch on that. And then I'll talk about where I am concerned. So um, just to sort of summarize some of these data points, here's cumulative days on market, uh, yeah. So continuing to drop, uh, typically we see days on market or how long it takes to sell a house, the highest in the winter time, which is where you see those peaks. But in the troughs, uh, during the spring and the summertime, they're, they're actually quite low. So, um, so as far as March goes, it looks pretty promising. However, I think that March is probably going to be the best real estate month here for a while. I do expect that things will drop and slow down. We're seeing unemployment rates go up pretty significantly. Anecdotally, from the ground level, it seems like there's not as much competition uh, uh, to, for, for really good looking homes versus a couple of weeks ago, it was quite furious. And I think it just had some of that some of that carryover from the beginning of the spring market. But with the coronavirus, with the orders from the government, uh, from, from the, the state of Colorado, I think that it's really going to have an impact on <clears throat> how many houses are being put on the market, as well as how long it's taking to sell them. I don't think that we're going to see as many new listings uh, in the month of April as we did in the month of March. So I think that's going to be one impact. Um, um, uh, mortgage rates seem to be a little bit volatile, a little bit manic. So I think that that's something that people are, are probably keeping an eye on. And then, and then, as I mentioned before, the unemployment rate seems to be going up pretty significantly. And so even if you have a job and you're confident that it's not going to be disruptive, I think that it does create a little bit of pause for consumers. And so what I suspect here is that we'll see a, 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 a drop, um, a, a negative trend in the local real estate market in, in April in the Denver area. Do I think it's going to be significant? Probably not. Uh, do I think long term um, this is going to have a significant impact? I'm of the opinion that it's probably too soon to tell. It really depends on when when we all get back to normal, right? So as as of now, I think that the state is saying that uh, things will resume back to normal in about another month, so May or so. But I don't think it's going to be uh, business as usual immediately. I suspect that it will probably be a gradual increase in, in normalcy. So something to keep an eye on, but I feel confident enough based on what I've seen so far, um, that I think that April will see some negative trending in the Denver real estate market. So I hope that helps. Again, I will be doing a formal video, a formal real estate market update. I've got all the data and all the charts ready to go. I just need to compile it um, into a, uh, a slide deck and then record the video. So do keep an eye on that. Um, I'll put my link to my YouTube channel, my real estate YouTube channel, uh, in, in this post 
And that way, if you want to subscribe, you'll get a notification when that does go live, probably within the next 24 to 48 hours. So Sean Mitchell, Denver Real Estate Agent. I hope everyone's staying safe and well and happy to field some questions as well. So put them in the comments. Talk to you soon.